What's up, you sons of bitches? It's your boy, Don Vedicus, and welcome back to Doki Doki. Now, essentially, uh, Sayori came out and was honest with us. She suffered from depression, and we got a little bit of backstory. So she wasn't all that hunky-dory, happy-go-lucky person she always was. She was actually very, very, very depressed. Um, I didn't get a chance to say this in the other video, but if you're suffering from depression, please seek out help. Even though the world... You know, it's out to get you. Even though it feels like everyone gives, you know, doesn't give a shit about you. You know, try and surround yourself with positivity because honestly, once you go negative, it never stops there. It's just, it's a cycle. It's a vicious cycle. Your little self-esteem will go to shit. Your insecurities on the rise. Everything will go to shit. Your life will be shit. It's just a bad idea. Then 60 years pass and you're six feet under. You're gonna die like the rest of us, so you might as well just die happy like the rest of us. That's the way I like to live. You know, I have personal experience, but I'd rather not deal with it. I don't want to go into it personally. I'm sure you all understand. But from personal experience, I would say that it's just better to surround yourself with positivity and find an outlet, get a hobby, do something that makes you, you know, that gives you purpose in life, that gives you meaning. It makes my day worthwhile. That's the only reason. <laughs> that's one of the reasons why I started this YouTube channel. It's an outlet. It's a hobby. Even though 20 people, 1 people, 5 people can watch it. It's still an outlet. Alright, that's enough gooey shit. No one gives a fucking shit about that. Let's get back to the fucking game. So before right now, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, open the front door let her in. Oh, damn. She's looking fucking fire. Sup, bitch? <laughs> hey, ho. What's up? I don't know what I expected, but seeing that skin something under her school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such a cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez, they make it feel so awkward already. It's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. Hmm, I see you brought a lot of stuff. That's kid's carrying a large bag that's probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come on this way to find out that your shit isn't equipped for the job, so... You know, you bought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did, babe. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of shit that I didn't, I, that I didn't already have in my home. Good. Glad I could come you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki only say that rather than something snarky like she usually does. Could be that she's a little different outside of school, after all. Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What? You're not even gonna offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, Don? Come on. <laughs> Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grab the bag. Chuh, this is ridiculously heavy. <laughs> I carry that all the way here, you little bitch. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I'm fucking impressed. Shit. Seems like I always underestimate you. <laughs> it's because I'm small. So, uh, oh, fuck. It's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Let's get to fist it to my chest. Hey, whoa, chill, fam. Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Huh? Um, well, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. And it's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. But, oh, geez, never mind. What, what are you making me say? Don't you think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school? Are we getting started or what? Cause there's a lot of shit I gotta teach ya. <laughs> what? That's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. Hey, hey, whoa. Now you are fucking treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know. And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like fucking Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like... <sighs> Ooh. It's okay, it's good to have small tits and small ass. It makes the sex much more pleasurable, baby. Nah, it's okay. Forget it. I didn't say anything. I should apologize. What? I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little bit more considerate, too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys worried to buy types like yours. Huh? How, how would you know that? Just trust me on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Hey, whoa, was that to me? Who else? Man, let's just get started already. <laughs> you get a little sour when a girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness, Don. 
He smiles deviously. Ooh, I see a roll plate. Please spare me. Oh, not to criticize the dash out more answers like that. There's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now. Hmm. Alright. Bake and shake. The kitchen's a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flour, spilled fluid, plastic bags. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the better at once, so we have to do it several times. And meanwhile, I took his babysitting all my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious bake. Don, where do you put the food coloring? The batter is going in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. Where are you using it for? To color the batter, you fucking dickhead. I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even though the flares are different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Oh, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the ice? Do you want to? Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have a fucking preference, so I don't know. Oh, come on! You're not putting any heart into this at all. Can you at least try to have fun? I am having fun. I mean, yeah, what the fuck this bitch wants from me? You want to see her separate the barrel into small bowls and put a few drops of food color in it. Oh, that does look pretty cool. See? It's not like bacon, it's just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end if you're just looking at it, it makes everyone's eyes light up. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? <laughs> I wonder if I can make that silky pie like that, so... Yeah, maybe we'll use the food color in that. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish this shit before you mess with the food color. Yeah, let's get in there. I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl. Oh, uh, the icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? I mean, well, yeah, it'll just take a little bit longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. Well, fuck me then. <laughs> Shit. You really need to beat the crap out of her. <sighs> okay. <laughs> God damn. See? To the other side, she sticks a finger, pops it in her mouth. Oh. Is that the only thing you're gonna pop in your mouth, bae? I wanna see you do that too. Alright. Hey. Hmm. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, huh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? <laughs> don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I don't like to see you try. I push harder, just not for my finger to reach the ice. Scoop some on my finger. Tugs with all her might. Uh, hmm. Gross. You got it on my face. <laughs> oh, oh man. That's a sexual saying. I'm, oh man, that's perfect. That's rich. Whose fault is that? <laughs> oh, big glove of cum instead. Mm. She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez. You know what? Take this. That's she wipes it off her finger before shoving her finger towards my own face. You wish. I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand. And she tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab the one as well. Okay, wow. Ooh. <laughs> Stop. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm fucking sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know. Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. I take that Tsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the- Wow. There we go. We just went from nice guy to fuck boy in no time at all. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Did they use- Yeah? Uh. <laughs> uh. Her face is entirely red. Don, you really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls. Unless you really like them. <laughs> but that's the point. You know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me just like that? How did the mood turn to this so quick? It's called sexual... Sexual desire. I... Hmm. Shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Huh? I don't know where the fire alarm... Fire alarm? Oh, no. You fucked up the cakes. Something burning? Yeah, my dick. I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. 
<clears throat> no wonder you left a dirty train here, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your fucking mistakes. Jeez. She puts in an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the stove. No moment the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm uh, putting them in the oven now. Yeah. Hmm. The woman's already been lost. Ah, oh, god damn it. I will pursue this fool further. This guy's a quitter. God damn it. The true dawn will always pursue. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, that smells so good. Holy fuck, the other guy fucking slammed the door shut. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. And as soon as not, open the oven door, blast a sweet smelling warm pussy fills the air room. Look at how cute they all look. She probably shows off different shit. We'll look even better once we add the ice. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the ice into these bags. She hands me some plastic bags. I have these little nozzles that will make it look nice and fluffy. And this one can even make flawless. You probably won't be using it this time, though. What's this one for? Hmm, thinner tip. Well, that one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns, but you can only use the right stuff on the cake, like, uh, Happy Birthday or Fuck You or whatever. Huh, <laughs> see. That gives me an idea, actually. Huh? Well, it's a literature event, right? So, you can make a more like literature theme by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It'd be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on the word they like. Ah, hmm. I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. But that's actually a, <laughs> a really cute idea, so... Ha ha ha. Maybe I'm getting it from you. What's the fuck is that supposed to mean? I'm not fucking cute. Oh, come the fuck on. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't fucking dress and act like this and expect me to think you're cute. Mm, well... Yeah, finally. Fuck. Same with you. Oh, shit. Huh, see? We done our homework, ladies and gents. Huh? Did you say something? No, no. Let's just do the icing. Pick up the pace. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do, <laughs> how to do it. Without giving me a chance, she quickly moves on and she shows me how to apply the eyes and then we get to work. This is fun. We finally finish. She puts them almost side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? I wish I could have one now. There's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but my dad's making me dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. <laughs> So you're is the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, she'd probably be down with some cupcakes already. But she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway. I was hoping we would have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you'll always have this chance. Man. Hmm. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sierra each carry some, you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I'll see about that. Don't worry, I'll let Ha ha ha. I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I felt so helpless. Sierra always does listen to me, but at that point I felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. Yeah, you too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Just like that, this bitch is about to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Nope, you fucked up, boy. Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for the help and everything, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, huh? What you said before about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be like you want it. But aside from that, you can come over any time, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or, or go out somewhere. Um, do you really mean that? <laughs> yeah. I want to spend more time with you. Don, I thought you only cared about getting this done. I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... 
Oh, shit. Oh, well, this is it. This is it. Oh, yeah, baby, get closer. Wait, no, that's okay. Standing into me, she looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch the sides of my shirt as if holding on to me. Her rose-colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision, along with her slightly parted lips. It's called a kiss, you fucking retard. Yeah, my head started to go dizzy as I feel her soft breaths against me. I felt it. For a while now. She jumps back. God damn it. Ah, so Sayori? What? Oh, you cock blocking son of a bitch. God damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I always gotta be a hoe. Uh, hi, Don. Sayori. She doesn't. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> it's okay, Don. I just stopped by to say hi. <laughs> Well, you should have come a little earlier. <laughs> I'm already on my way out, so... Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well... I'll see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. She hurries off. Let's hear it. You fucking cock blocker. God damn it. These goddamn sons of bitches. So, Yuri, you fucking... Hmm. Why you didn't want to come over today? <laughs> I can't be mad at her because she has depression. God damn it. Fine. <laughs> well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me, so I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with. Oh, fuck. There it goes. How close you got to her. It makes me really happy that you made such good friends. That's all that. That's all that matters to me. Mm, that's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Don? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Don't say that. It's true, Don. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori. So what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Talking about you like this isn't a burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But... I'm scared, Don. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... That I might like you more than you like me. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Sayori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Don, I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And then, that's enough. I don't want you to hurt anymore. Oh, well, you gotta be careful there, my man. You gotta be really careful now, because we're playing a dangerous game. On the one hand, we got Natsuki. But this one is a little... My girlfriend will kind of, like, get angry at me for doing this kind of behavior with other women. This is very dangerous. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? She nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give to you. Oh, fuck. Shit. God damn it. Fuck. Shit. We can friend zone her or we can romance her. Fuck. Ooh, decisions. 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 Fuck. Decisions. Shit. If we tell her we love her, she's gonna feel better. She said that she's like us more than we like her. Fuck. But on the other hand, we got Natsuki. We've been trying to get her for like the fucking longest. So if I if I friend zone her for Natsuki, she's not gonna she might kill herself, that's the thing. And I don't I don't want I don't want my best friend to die over pussy. 
I have principles and morals too, you know. I'm not just a fucking asshole who searches for pussy only. This is fucking hard. What the fuck shall I do? Shit. Hmm. Well, logically, what I can do is I what I can do is I can do this. I can save. Hmm. Yes, I can save, and then go back, make one decision, see how it reacts, and then load the game from there, then see how how it react. But I'm not gonna make another video. Fuck. I'm so torn. I mean. I never feel so conflicted in my life. Shit. Uh. Hmm. Well. I want to be with Natsuki. Fuck. Oh man, my girlfriend's gonna hate me. My girlfriend's gonna hate me. I'm sorry. Fuck. Alright. I'll bite the bullet. No fucks were given. Shoot me. What are you gonna do? I love you. What? Those are my true feelings. So there is no way you could like me more than I like you. Shall I realize that sooner? But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, having fun with you every day, help me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. And as long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. Don. Hmm. Don. This is... Really okay? No, not really. This is not okay. It's called cheating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's okay. I hold her in my arms and pull her closer. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you, Don. I want to be with you forever. Me too. Hmm. What is this, Sayuri? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now, why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Don. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Okay. I trust you. Fuck. Shit. So. Do you like threesomes? <laughs> I sh no, I shouldn't probably say that. So, I guess I makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? Uh, what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know. I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I can handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go at whatever pace suits you best. Hey, Don. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? Uh, yeah, I don't either. Are you saying this is making you feel sad? I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. I feel like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. But that's why I wanted to trust you. You know what's best for me. Fuck. I'm already regretting my decision. Not so key, I'm sorry. Fuck. Ah. I do. That's my promise. Shit. Yeah. Is that what's your remember? I don't want anything to change. I don't know. I know that I'll give it everything I got. She's the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Oh, I'm regretting. Fuck. Oh, it's the day of the festival. Fuck. Fuck. I'm I'm having like this like remorse. Buyers like buyers remorse. Oh, I'm regretting my decision already. I feel it in my balls. I'm regretting my decision already. Fuck. Fuck. You know what? Fuck you. You know what? No. No. We're gonna... No. Be my dearest friend. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Monica told me the truth. Fuck you. I'm having regret, okay? I love Natsuki, okay? Don't fucking judge me, alright? It's not cute. Fuck. She told me how much happier you seem after I joined the club. So I know you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now. But... Please trust me that I know what's best. It will make you happy in the end. I promise I'll help get things back to the way they were. I... I see. <sighs> Sorry. Listen, I'm loyal to one hoe, alright? <laughs> yeah. You should write a poem about this. Sorry. It's okay. 
It's just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I knew this whole time there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer needed to hear. And the other thing, you're also right that I just wanted to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Don. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So, she breaks. Uh, I'm so shocked. So, uh, well, listen. What can I do? Well, because we're pressured to say that we love her, but in true reality, we don't. I'm sorry, we don't. We, we be fucking be pursuing that Natsuki for a long ass fucking time. I'm not even gonna throw that away. I've done too many videos pursuing Natsuki. I'm sorry. No, that's it. That's what I can do. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something. Oh, so it does repeat the same thing. Yeah, I'm gonna give her everything I got. Be my dearest friend, and I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. Alright, well, that makes me feel a little bit better now. It's as bad as all the time I have. <laughs> Listen, judge me all that you want, but I really feel badly about that decision. I really want Natsuki. There's something about her that makes her so adorable. I'm sure you understand, <laughs> right? We're gonna save right here, though. Here, there. I'm gonna save it for you guys. So when, if if you guys want a different, maybe I'll make a different video about what happens at the end, because I'm pretty sure that will change the ending. I want Natsuki, so this will be ending one for the our walkthrough. This will be probably ending two. So yeah, fuck it. So anyway, that's all the time I have for now. If you like what we've seen so far, please smash that like button and consider fucking subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. See you on the flip side. Wow. <laughs>